Hello, my name's Isaac Nellis and I'm a Green Left journalist. Um, we're here today at, in the Wadarong land of, in Geelong. We're actually in Geelong Trades Hall, which has been a historic site for loads of struggles um, over the years for unionists and activists. Um, today, I'm lucky enough to be talking to Sukwa from the Socialist Party of Malaysia, or PSM. Um, uh, we're going to be talking about the various struggles going on in Malaysia. Um, but before we get started, I'd like to encourage everyone to become a Green Left supporter for as little as $5 a month. You can get access to more great interviews like this, as well as news and coverage of all the things that are going on uh, in Australia and internationally, um, as well as analysis about the different campaigns and struggles that the left are involved with. Um, so you can become a supporter at greenleft.org.au slash support. So Sukra, uh, Malaysia has a new government under PM Anwar Ibrahim, um, who was best known uh, for being the previously uh, imprisoned leader of the Reformasi movement. Um, could you please tell us a bit about the political background to this new government? Actually, a lot of media has uh, characterised this as a, a decades-long wait for Anwar to become the Prime Minister. And uh, Anwar was the uh, Finance Minister and also Deputy Prime Minister in the 90s. So uh, after it was, he was ousted in 1998, so it sparked the reformacy movement, which actually uh, gave birth to uh, the PKR, it's a, a justice party. And, uh, and later on, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of movement building up towards uh, the regime change. Uh, but PKR was once a single-seat party in 2004. So uh, I think 2008 is a turning point for the opposition because uh, they was given a chance to form a state government in five states out of uh, 13 states in Malaysia. So it's, uh, I, I think along uh, with the opposition, movement we have seen a lot of like splitting among them and yeah uh, uh, stepping to each other <laughs> uh, even absorbing Mahadir uh, into their coalition in 2000 uh, as the prime minister candidate, uh, candidate for the 2018 they succeeded to form a uh, first time uh, a regime change uh, for Malaysia so they succeeded in uh, forming the government in 2018, which only lasts uh, for 22 months. Mm. So this time, uh, it's the second regime change, but I, I, could, uh, I could see a lot of hope, um, or uh, a lot of people actually have high hope on Anwar to, bring, to push forward the reform agenda. Mm. Right, so what's the PSM's relationship um, and the, what's your political characterization of this new government? Um, actually, PSM was formed in 1989, uh, but we took, uh, it took us 10 years to register our party. So uh, because of the very conservative uh, political environment. And uh, prior to our, as, uh, our registration, we have uh, actually borrowed uh, uh, opposition's logo to, st uh, to stand in election. So we used uh, DAP lo logo in 1999 and uh, PKR logo for the last, uh, for uh, 2004 and 2013 election. Uh, and we actually tried to uh, have a negotiation with the coalition, opposition coalition, uh, prior to our uh, this election, the 2000. Uh, 2022 election, uh, but the result was <laughs> disappointing. So we not managed to negotiate any seat and we were standing on our own. Um, however, I, I would say we have uh, some good relationship with uh, some of the individuals and uh, PSM is always ready to actually um, work with other people uh, to push forward the reform agenda. But however, um, the current development is quite confusing because Harapan couldn't form a government on his own and the old regime, Barisan National, is now part of the uh, unity government. 
and uh, was given quite a disproportionate uh, minister position. So we are not sure whether uh, we are not sure how the reform ag agenda could be carried out. So um, I would say we need to play also a very critical role in uh, giving a uh, playing a role of uh, opposition. Recently, Malaysia has been hit by some really serious floods. Um, I guess what are the PSM's thoughts uh, on this on these floods and what it means in the context of climate emergency? Mm. The flood is really, really big. Uh, actually, this is one of the biggest for the mm, for the past uh, decades, and it took uh, I think seventy thousand people displaced in the two thousand twenty one uh, uh, flood, and even fifty deaf. Uh, so it uh, I think it showed that uh, uh, it's actually uh, make people realize. Um, climate crisis is no longer a looming threat. It's already happening in Malaysia, and uh, I think um, um, I think besides uh, advocating for more uh, for uh, for mitigation policy, uh, the flood mitigation, uh, we see a need to actually advocating for uh, eco socialism because we we were uh, we were working with a lot of. Uh, uh, civil societies in a broad network, um, but I would say a more critical uh, point of view and also a more um, uh, uh, beside all those reform agenda, I think we need a real change, a systematic change in our uh, development because uh, I think uh, the previous government, the state government, both the uh, liberal and conservative, they was giving too much to uh, our developer where this is not sustainable. Mm. So we hope that uh, a more critical change we're able to bring. The other thing I was wanting to ask is what are the other main campaigns that the PSM has been involved in uh, recently? Actually, we are still quite focused on the workers' issue. Uh, the most recent one uh, is the minimum wage campaign because uh, 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 the government actually has uh, 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 has rise the minimum wage from thousand two hundred to thousand five hundred last year, but uh, but uh, a delay a postponement is given to those uh, company that have less than five employees, and now they 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 are they trying to postpone it again yeah from uh, from June 2020 and now they want to postpone another six months so we think this is uh, this is really um, concerning because among the low wages uh, workers they are suffering from the uh, recession especially after the covid they so uh, we are pretty much uh, uh, concerned about this and we want to launch a campaign to make sure uh, that there's no more postponement on this issue. Uh, Besides that, we actually are uh, very active involving uh, in the campaign for contract workers, which uh, due to the privatization in uh, in 80s under the Mahadir, uh, Mahadir government, uh, a lot of uh, government work has uh, been casualized into a contract system. So it was privatized and the contractor get a large uh, sum out of the privatization, but the workers is suffering. Mm. So uh, we organize uh, the contract workers through a contract workers network and, uh, and mobilize them uh, because they have, they are facing a lot of issues like uh, their salary delay and also uh, didn't um, and every year they will be treated as the new workers in their workplace. So uh, a campaign that uh, to end the contract system is one of our major focus. Mm. And we are also uh, very active uh, in organizing uh, the hospital cleaners union, uh, which is also due to the uh, is also to f to actually liberate them from the contract system. Mm.
Besides that, uh, PSM is very involved in the landless farmers uh, movement, which uh, they are facing a lot of uh, eviction issues on the ground because the government uh, wanted their land for other development projects. Given that we are facing uh, the issues of uh, food security at the moment, we think uh, this is a very important issue uh, for us to bring forward. Because uh, currently, the, the issue is only, I would say, contrasted among, uh, among the, was uh, informed among the farmers' community. But actually, uh, people, everyone in Malaysia, uh, as a food uh, consumer, actually they should be aware of this because uh, this is uh, concerning about their food. So I guess a bit broad, broadly, what do you think the prospects are for the socialist movement uh, in Malaysia and in the region? Mm, I think uh, the capitalist system has come to a degree that uh, a lot of people see this is not sustainable. So people are looking for alternative. Um, and as socialists, I think it's very important for us to, uh, to put forward an idea in a more uh, simple way, in the common people language, so they can actually understand uh, what, are, what are the alternatives and uh, how can we actually, um, I would say, um, uh, grow together with, with the common people. So we can, uh, I see there's hope, especially a lot of youth actually are looking for alternatives. They know this is not sustainable and they are facing a tremendous pressure uh, because of the precarious world and because of even mental health issues is uh, quite concerning back in Malaysia. So I would say we have a bright future, but there is a lot of work need to be done. Thanks very much, Sukhfar, for talking to me. Um, I think it's a lot, of, uh, a lot for people in Australia to, to learn about and hear and take the lessons from what's happening in different countries. So it's great to hear, hear about the context of Malaysia. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for speaking to Green Left. Thank Lots you, Isaac, and thank you, Green Left, and support Green Left.